Today, sports bikes can be split into two distinct categories. 1,000cc hypersports, powerful bikes full of torque and mega responsive, and the 600cc supersports, light, nervy and easy to ride. Suzuki is the only Japanese manufacturer that offers an alternative, a 750cc machine, the legendary GSX-R750, on paper the perfect compromise between power and rideability. The latest version of the 750 comes at the same time as the updated smaller 600 machine. In fact, they're pretty hard to tell apart at first glance. The subtle changes to the new model, though, are enough to make us like it, even if we do prefer the original grey and blue colour scheme, which is still available. The biggest change is in the engine, which gets the new SDMS system, which allows you to choose from three different power curves by using two buttons on the handlebars. The dash block is well built and easy to read. It does lack a fuel gauge, but then this isn't the thirstiest of machines. We like the display that tells you which gear you're in and which of the power settings has been selected. Both front and rear suspension systems are fully adjustable, while the brakes feature Tokiko pistons, which should make that more than adequate. Now at the first turn of the wheels, it feels like a 600, perhaps with a little more power through the corners. The GSX R750 is simple to ride. It builds confidence quickly. The electronic steering and suspension system provide excellent stability. It's easy to feel the difference between this and the 600, especially on this full power version. With more torque and a more powerful engine, the gearbox doesn't take too much work, but it's particularly impressive above 8,000 revs per minute. The GSX-R has power all the way through its 15,000 revs. The SDMS system works perfectly. You can feel the character of the engine change, and the C-mode is well suited to beginners or slippery roads. One small complaint that could become a positive in some circumstances is that the brakes at the front are a bit spongy, but that doesn't stop them from being plenty powerful enough. Suzuki has kept the recipe the same with this latest GSX-R750. It's an aggressive-looking bike with a powerful, torquey engine, but one that is easy and enjoyable to ride. It's the perfect combination, and one for which Suzuki feels able to charge a premium. Around 12,300 euros is 2,000 more expensive than the 600.